Peter Buswell here for drvoip.com with a quick peek at the Shortel Contact Center version 7 of uh, the most uh, impressive new aspect of the Contact Center is that it is now a browser-based solution. So up here in your favorite Internet Explorer or Firefox, uh, Safari, you're going to be able to enter the name of your server, the IP address if you prefer, and do Contact Center Director. It's the same metaphor you used on the PBX. Instead of saying Shoreware Director, you're saying Contact Center Director. And that's going to bring up this login page. This login page, by the way, if, you've, if you're paying attention, you notice if you now point um, a browser at the IP address of your PBX, you bring up a very similar looking screen, but it's to bring up your Shoreware Communicator. This is the interface for the Contact Center. I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in here so you can see what this looks like. It brings up uh, an interface that um, should be very familiar to anybody that has uh, any system administration uh, experience with the PBX. On the left side of the screen, you're going to see uh, a list of links. These links will take you to a configuration area at the center of the screen. Um, there's a nice little favorite section where I can add the various um, entities that I work with the most in the contact center. So they're readily available to me under my system favorites. I can search the director. You'll notice here that we now have a request license and license key section. Again, the metaphor is very similar to the PBX. We're going to go ahead. Uh, when we bring up the system, we've got a 45-day grace period, just like on the PBX. Uh, we're going to request a, a system license key. You're going to see here that the license key requires um, that we uh, bond the system uh, to a MAC address in addition to the BIOS key of the server. So that's uh, a little bit different. You can go ahead and you'll, you, you'll get your keys. You'll uh, add the keys just the way you would uh, in the PBX. There's uh, really nothing new there. It's just part of the process of folding the contact center into the metaphor that the shoreware director has been using uh, since the earliest releases of the product. As far as links go, uh, you'll notice that we have maybe one new area down here um, called routing. And a routing is where we now have co-located the various um, services, uh, IRNs that connect with our route points in the PBX, DNS. And there's a new guy here called the Agent Q profiles. And what this enables us to do is to set up individual queues per agent. So if you have a situation in which you want um, to have people be able to, you know, directly access the agent that they previously worked with, I'm sure we've all had the experience of calling into a contact center, uh, spending 40 minutes uh, working with somebody, getting a homework si assignment, going away to do them, and coming back and uh, having to start all over with a new agent. If we want the ability to get to the agent we originally had, we may in fact want to create uh, individual agent queues to put those uh, agents in. The metaphor is very similar to what you used to do in groups. Um, we can set up one uh, personal queue and uh, have it be the default queue that our individual agents are in. So if, if I look at a particular agent, let's take a look here at uh, Gandalf, and we can see that Gandalf um, has an agent queue profile. Now, I could have laid out a profile uniquely for for Gandalf, uh, but there's no reason that a number of agents can't um, handle the same 
EQ profile since what that does is set up, it's kind of like a combination of services and groups. Um, in previous versions, you used to actually have to set up the service and the group for each individual agent if you were going to go this route. This neatly captures everything and enables me to set up a personal queue for a particular agent. And then uh, uh, when I define my agents, I can go ahead and uh, put, put, put the agent in the group. I can also uh, say this agent has a personal queue. So that's pretty exciting. There's uh, actually nothing um, that you can really see in the entities that's any different than anything. I recognize if you've never seen this before, it's uh, you're having trouble understanding this. It's uh, <clears throat> but for those of you who have worked with the contact center before, this is like um, just going to be very, very straightforward. It's a, a wonderful new interface. I like the fact that we now have uh, software keys instead of dongles. I like the personal cues. There, er, there really isn't anything here not to like. So at any rate, I hope you have found this informative, and I thank you for viewing. <music>